A taillight assembly on a vehicle it used to be a very serviceable item. You could replace a bulb in there for dollars. Now it's hundreds of dollars. So let's talk about it. Hello viewers and subscribers and people who are just watching this video. If you clicked on this, I'm Lance Mechanics. I talk about automotive related issues and stupid things I see in the industry. I'm an ex-automotive mechanic. I've gone to underground and underground isn't like some super secret auto repair society. It's mining. I'm now an underground mining mechanic and that's a whole other story. Anyways, let's talk about these uh, tail lights right now because this is going to get some people riled up. So what I have here is the brake or the rear tail light harness out of a 2012 Hyundai Santa Fe and I have the tail light out of a 2021 Hyundai Kona. So regular incandescent bulbs or whatever you want to call them. Super simple, uncomplicated. Most regular people can replace these. You see wires here. You can fix this harness. You can buy the harness. It's replaceable. All you'd have is a shell of a tail light, and sometimes those would fill up with water. You'd replace those. Very, very friendly for people to refix, you know, like very serviceable. Now, what we have here is the modern tail light. We'll even say headlights, but right now we're talking about tail lights, and this is what you're going to be dealing with. So here's the back side here, and normally this little slot, which is still designed to accept a bulb, now has a 3D printed, or sorry, 3D printed, it has a circuit board in there. And by the way, that's not serviceable. You see the screws right here? That's to mount the board here, but to get this cover off, it's literally glued all the way around here. So this is essentially a throwaway item. How much does this item cost? Well, let's find out. So I just did a quick Google search on Amazon, 329 American, eBay up to $500 American. A lot of money for Canadians. So something that was extremely serviceable in the past is now a throwaway item. Like what is going on? Well, we all know what's going on. It's a lot more profitable for them to sell you this entire assembly than to sell you a $2 light bulb. And the reason is, because if you don't know what's going on in here, this is all LEDs now, run by uh, computers. And it has its, its, how should I say this? As an automotive guy, I love technology. It has its pros and cons. Here in the north, going to LED is kind of a con. So they have to put heaters in here and some type of heat generating device, which adds to the complications. Whereas these naturally put off heat in the past and it would cause all the snow and ice to melt off your tail lights. Again, when you're reinventing the wheel, you're creating problems that weren't problems before. And they're doing this all in the name of profit. They want you to buy assemblies. They don't want this to be serviceable. Are you gonna to go to some somebody who will take this apart, put a new chipboard in there? You're gonna be at like, let's say $200 in cost, or do you spend $100 more and buy the newer one, the complete assembly, the drop-in unit? That's what they want you to do. They want you to really go for the new stuff because there are people who fix these. Again, it's gonna cost you money. It's time and labor. It's gonna be down for a bit. Whereas you go to the dealer, you order the damn part and you drop it in. So now it gets a little more complicated as we talk about Fords here. Uh, the F-150s, the higher trim packages, you have blind spot modules in the rear tail lights. When those are naturally hit or damaged, you're, you're replacing more than the lens. You have to do the blind spot and then you have to do a calibration and a programming. So something that was simple in the past, just changing out a headlight assembly, they were expensive, six, $700, and now a $1,400 job to $1,600 job with dealer programming and calibrations. And yes, those blind spots are serviceable. You can pull, pull them out of the tail light, but a lot of the time it's damaged. I'm talking collisions here and that's what happens. Most of the time when you're replacing a tail light, it's because you did something. And that's just where we're going with manufacturing. Um, see this BMW right here? It's a 2010. For a lot of people, this was the most complicated car on the road for the longest time. Um, from my experience, this thing is simple. There's not a lot going on right here. Um, the Hyundai Kona I had on the channel that I tore down had so much technology crammed into a friggin' small unit. I'd say more technology than this. And that's, that's saying something. So your average vehicle rolling down the road right now is approaching supercar technology. And that's what the people want. Unfortunately, me, you know, if you watch the channel, I like crank windows. I like manual ignitions. I like the simple stuff that is repairable. And that's very, very hard to find these days, this day and age on modern vehicles. So I think I'll end that video right here. Uh, if you like the channel, like and subscribe, watch some of my other videos. 95% uh, of you aren't subscribed and that's pretty huge, but everybody loves the content. So help a brother out. Anyways, uh, Lance Mechanics, have a good one. If you got topics or ideas, post them in the comments. I tend to follow a lot of people. And if you're new to the channel, a lot of my subs are mechanics. So we have a lot of knowledge in these comments. So uh, use it to your advantage.
Great. Have a good one.